This is Mr. O'Donnell, the child's proud principal, and I'd like to welcome you all to the 15th annual Grimsley Senior High School Commencement Convocation. One of this school's more recent graduation traditions, though this year, as you can imagine, is the first time it's ever been held virtually. I want to use this opportunity to offer a few thoughts and to share some of my personal feelings about this year's senior class, which will gather in another unique way tomorrow and on Friday, one last time as a class on this campus for our oldest commencement tradition, the distribution of diplomas for the 121st annual spring graduation in this school's history. One of the oldest public high schools in North Carolina and the oldest public high school in Green Guildford County. I couldn't be more proud as your principal at this historic time. Granted, it's going to be like no other graduation this school year has ever seen. As you seniors and your families drive up in your cars and you individually receive your diplomas on an outdoor stage. But I promise you, this graduation is going to be one that none of us will ever forget. So let me offer my hearty congratulations to the class of 2020 of Grimsby High School. I'm so proud of all of you for how you've handled the tough circumstances that we have been through during these last few months to reach this graduation point. And I dare to say the final lap to reach this particular point is something none of us would have ever expected. I'm very sorry you didn't get to experience many of the usual end of year activities that typically cap off the final school year of high school. But that's not to say that this school year hasn't been or hasn't had some amazing moments that we will all remember. Who can forget beating Paige High School last fall as just one of one? I think it will be the perfect part that all of us will be remembered. In March, literally at the last moment before activities close down for the school year, Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray's Whirly Bands had the privilege of playing the world premiere of a piece of music written especially for them to perform it in honour for our former band director, Dr. Stuber. And who could forget? Last fall, I doubt any of us will ever forget Coach Brown's state playoff band football team did to their arch rivals, the Page Pirates. And at Page, nonetheless, just a great, great early victory. A few day, days ago, we filmed the awards day, which would normally have been in the assembly in the auditorium. Because this tradition at Grimsley High School is too important for us not to have it, we carried on. And I encourage you all to watch it on the Grimsley YouTube channel. Again, my very best congratulations to the seniors who received Grimsley awards and scholarships. I'm very proud of your hard work that resulted in your selection for these historic awards, some of which go back more than 100 years. Now, in reference to the COVID-19 pandemic that has engulfed the world this spring, I hear people referring this difficult situation as unprecedented, that its impact is unprecedented, that the disruptions that it has caused are unprecedented, that everything about it is unprecedented. Pretty dramatic words and words which seem very pressing, given this being your senior year at high school. But I, as your principal, say that people who say such things haven't studied the history of Grimsley well enough. Not as it relates to the world, not as it relates to this country, and not as it relates to our school. Well, please don't get me wrong. I say that this year's virus hasn't impacted the Grimsley community. On the contrary, you seniors have had to watch all of this unfold just as you were about to hit the home stretch of your years at public education, with all the pomp and the ceremony that you have earned the chance to enjoy and savor. And perhaps you have a relative who has had the virus or know someone who has a relative who has caught it this spring. And if so, I express my deepest concern for you and that person and how it's affected you and them emotionally as well. But I want to know, now what's happened this year is not unprecedented in the history of our school. Here are some of the important facts that we need to remember. 
In the fall of 1918, the Spanish flu pandemic swept throughout the world, ultimately killing 50 million people at that time, when the total population was far smaller than it is today, but when medical knowledge was far less, and the ability to communicate news about the flu was also quite limited as well, as it gradually moved across the state of North Carolina that fall from east to west. Both local health commissioners here urged Greensboro School Board to take on the oncoming threat more seriously than they had up to that point. And as a result, they immediately closed all schools in Greensboro, including Grimsley Senior High School, where the school remained closed that fall for an entire month, cancelling all activities that normally occur, including part of the football season. The flu arrived in Greensboro that November Literally the week of the armistice was signed, ending the First World War. As the students of Greensboro High, along with all of the citizens of our town, so very much wanted to celebrate the end of the war, the city officials wisely to refuse to let our young people attend the crowded celebrations the city could not stop for our adults. So your GC GHS predecessors were directly impacted that year. They were disciplined and they got through it and before too long, life moved on. During World War II, much of the regular social and fun activities of school life at Greensboro High School had to be cancelled for the duration, which was the phrase used at the time. The total war effort in our country resulted in shortages of gasoline, food rationing, resulted in us having less food to eat and shortage of fuel meant even the Grimsley Auditorium could not be heated regularly, meaning many school programs and activities had to be cancelled again for the duration. But the whirlies of that generation did what they had to do to help all of the community push through to the end. It doesn't end there. In the mid-1950s, when a vaccine for polio was finally developed, public Epidemics regularly occurred in various parts of the country during warm weather. And here in Greensboro, the community was especially hit hard, both in 1944 and 1948. In both of these years, the start of school was delayed, and parts of the respective football seasons in those years had to be cancelled. And it wasn't just the schools that had to close for the fear of polio, especially in 1948, when Greensboro was hit hard, swimming pools and movie theatres had to be closed and people had to stay home. For themselves, individually, as well as for the good of others in the city. So, what are some of the life lessons here I'm wanting to share with the class of 2020? Life is not always going to be easy. Life is not always going to be fair. Life is not always going to be fun, but I watch you students, my students, our students, roll with the punches as you've dealt recently with cancelled spring sports seasons, concerts, the senior tea, the prom, and finally the chance to sit together as a class for one last time at graduation. I've been so proud of all of you as you've managed life the best you can while you really had no choice while nature basically brought life to a total standstill this spring. But again, I want to know that a number of classes of your predecessors at this very high school walk in these very same halls as you have walked for the last four years, also dealt with serious adversities that impacted them from time to time. But they got through it. They moved on and they moved ahead. And so should we. They persevered despite and probably because of what their classes endured and they never gave up. This will not be the time, only time in your life when you will encounter difficulties. That must be endured. But I hope when those times occur in the future that you will remember the spring of 2020 and remember the great courage that you showed as we persevered together during these very difficult times. You seniors, our seniors, my seniors, have now completed four years at Grimsley successfully.
following the footsteps of over 37,000 graduates at this amazing school who have come before you in the 121 years before. After seeing you handle these things so maturely these last few months, I know how strong you are. I promise you that this current situation is going to get better and that you are going to move on to the next stage of your life. And maybe in a year or two, depending on when we've moved on beyond this pandemic, the class of 2020 can plan itself a big party and we will all get together then to have the in-person celebration that we just can't have right now together. And finally, you're about to join the many ranks of our proud Grimsley alumni. So start, in put, start putting the apostrophe 20 after your name. So all will know you were in this particular special class. I hope that you will all become active members of the Grimsley Alumni Association and you will continue to sing the alma mater, pledge your faith and love and loyalty. And eventually, once you've got settled and paid off those college debts, you may even contribute money to Grimsley Senior High School. So, congratulations to the class of 2020 and go Worlds.